welcome to part four of my 94 Chevy Silverado transmission swap. So in the last couple of videos we've taken out the automatic transmission and put in this NV4500 manual and now we're ready to get it on the road again. Next we need to replace the fluids in the engine, the transmission, and the transfer case. First up, engine. So we're going to put the fluid into the transmission now. First we made sure that this bolt here, the plug, the drain plug was nice and tight. And now we're going to take out the other plug for the fill plug. So we're going to use AMS oil 75W90, which is the recommended oil for this NV4500 transmission. And we're going to use this pump with a cup because the pump doesn't fit in the bottle to get it into the transmission. So now we're going to fill up transfer case with oil. Now I'm going to attach the exhaust system back to its manifold. This section here used to be connected to the master cylinder for the clutch. So we just took off the two bolts that were on there and now I can take out the clutch pedal. So in order to figure out how the clutch pedal came out of the dash, we had to take apart the entire dash and we got to it here and we found this bracket which is in this manual truck but is not in my automatic truck so we're going to have to figure out a substitute to get the uh, elevation there that we need. But we took out these bolts here, and now the clutch pedal will just come out. The clutch pedal. In order to get your clutch pedal out, you will need to remove this little bracket here, which is part of this piece that connects to the front of the truck. There's also a little switch here that shows it's a um, clutch is fully engaged, and there's also another one on the truck that we need to take out. In order to attach the clutch master cylinder to the clutch pedal, we need to drill the holes in the firewall here, and they are pre-marked for us and all ready to go. So 
in order to know what size hole we need to drill, we've figured out this is the inch and three eighths, and it fits perfectly there for the center hole. And for the smaller holes, you'll need a 23 64 bit here, which fits just about perfectly into there. I'm going to be cutting out this rubber layer around the pilot holes that we drilled, which is also cut out on the parts truck. And it's pre-marked for me here. I'm just going to be following the lines with this little knife I've got here. The other truck does not have this bracket, but it does have the same little groove that this truck has right here. So we're going to bring the bracket into the other truck and line it up with this groove right here. And then screw it right on for the clutch pedal to be mounted onto. So now we've got our bracket all screwed in, ready to go, our holes through the insulation cut. And now the next step is to stick the clutch pedal in. So you gotta have it like this, all straight, and then feed it through all the wires. Now one of the hardest parts of our transmission swap was getting the clutch pedal in. It was definitely a bit of a challenge, but now we get to see if she runs. <laughs> 